Today we're going to be smoking this beautiful two and a half pound salmon filet. We're going to smoke it at 150 degrees using mesquite wood chunks. So for the grill prep, we've got indirect heat. It didn't take too many briquettes to get this going since we're smoking so low. This filet, last night I put about two tablespoons of olive oil and then I peppered the seasoning on it. This has been in the refrigerator now for about 12 hours. So the grill is preheated to 150 degrees. And we'll go ahead and get these wood chunks on. And we'll actually leave this filet covered for about the first 20 minutes. And then we'll kind of open it up, get that real nice smoke appearance to it. So check back in about 20 minutes. Total cook time is going to be about two to three hours. This filet has been on for a half an hour now, so we'll go ahead and get it uncovered completely to get that nice smoke appearance to it. We're going to cook this to 145 degrees, 140 to 145, but I've cooked these filets to 165 degrees with no problems with them drying out. It's that olive oil that I rubbed in last night with the seasoning and it's gonna hold the moisture in. If I was slow smoking this, I would probably do a brine. If you guys are doing a marinade on any filet, I wouldn't go over four hours, but with this being more of a dry rub, just with some added healthy fats with olive oil, 12 hours and it's gonna be all right. But So I guess we'll see just how this goes and probably another hour and a half, two hours should be ready to take a look at it and be ready to eat. Sometimes I'm asked how I get a good smoke flavor using the Weber kettle grill. A lot of people just think that these are normal grills, but it's actually really the design that allows the good smoke flavor. We've got the indirect heat over here and the dome shape of the kettle grill is going to bring that smoke over to where we put the meat and before it leaves the vent. So you can get some real good smoke flavor using these. And actually, if I remember correctly, the very first Weber kettle grill was a buoy, marine buoy cut in half. The Weber kettle grill is really the only grill that I've ever owned. And I get some good smoke flavor. I was actually gonna do a turkey this weekend, but it was so nice out, I wanted to do something quick i've been telling a lot of people that i smoke these salmons about two or three times a month and i guess i just got accustomed to the nice flavor of these salmon fillets on the kettle grill but i wanted to smoke this for you guys give you guys an idea of what you can do with a salmon people ask me too how much are these salmon fillets but i think i picked this one up for around eight or nine dollars a pound and if you guys seen the price of meat lately that's a lot cheaper than your 15 16 dollar a pound ribeyes this filet has been on for an hour and 45 minutes i want to get a temp of it see where we're at right now if you guys notice this albumin protein you guys can brush that off if you want to but it's found in eggs and milk and things like that any animal base product. We'll have that albumin. So we're sitting about 132 degrees. We'll cook this to 145 degrees and we'll get it off here, see what it looks like. We should like. be close to our 145 degree mark. Take a look at it, see where we're at. about 146 which that's fine what we're gonna do we'll get this off here we'll keep it covered for 10 minutes we'll let it rest take a look at it and see what we got this filet has been resting for 10 minutes now and that looks really good you guys can cut this up and little fillets. I don't know how you guys like 
eating your salmon, but I actually just like digging into it with a fork. I'm just putting it on the plates that way. These fillets actually make real good salads for the week. And you can see that that, that meat is just coming off that skin there. All right, guys, looks like we got what we want. Let's enjoy it. <laughs> 